गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन गुड मॉर्निंग मकड़ा इन लास्ट क्लास वी वर लर्निंग द लेसन दैट वॉज अलादीन एंड हीज मैजिक लैम्प अलादीन एंड हीज मैजिक लैम्प इन दिस लेसन अलादीन वॉज लिविंग इन अ स्मॉल टाउन इन द चाइना विथ हीज मदर दे वेर वेरी पोअर दे वेर वेरी पोअर एंड वन डे वन मर्चेंट कम्स टू देअर हाउस वन मर्चेंट कम्स टू देअर हाउस एंड ही टेल्स हीज मदर that i want to take your son with me for a journey and i will pay for you then mother agrees to that and she sends with him aladdin and then after some journey they reaches to a in the middle of the woods a person what he does the merchant what he does he spray sprinkles some powder around him and that then the fog covers the area after sometimes it gets cleared and then a cave a cave appears in front of them then the merchant says go inside the cave and take whatever how much gold silver and whatever you want you take for yourself but get me that old lamp which is lying in the cave then aladdin thinks for a while and he says okay i will do it for you because i have agreed that whatever work you tell me i will do it and he goes inside the cave inside the cave with fears then after reaching inside he sees that they it was really filled with the so gold and other things then looking at the gold and all what the uh, aladdin thinks while living this all why this person want the old lamp is he mad or what and then he picks it he picks it and just try, rubs it rubs on it and again the cave will cover with the fog and then after some time a jinn a jinn appears in front of him and he says i am your servant you can order me i will do any work for you then in in scared when uh, then aladdin gets scared and he says i want to go to my house then in fraction of seconds they will be in front of their mother in the house then looking at them mother asks how did you come you had been with a merchant then aladdin tells her all the story what had happened my aunt gives the lamp to her then what aladdin's mother does she rubs she says that this lamp is become so dirty let me wash it and she starts to rub it as she starts to rub it again the fog covers around and in 2 minutes the jinn appears and he says i am at your service i am your servant please tell me what to do you tell me whatever work to do i will do it for you then let's see what happens then he stepped on the ring he picked it up and put it on his finger he was so nervous he twisted it around and around suddenly the room flooded with light and a great jinn appeared once again what he does he steps in he step, aladdin steps inside and then he picks up a ring and then after looking at it round and round he puts it in in his finger then again the light floods in that cave light floods there and again jinn appears then aladdin was surprised he could see only the jinn then what happens suddenly the boy and mother started stared at him wordlessly mother and the boy stared at the jinn they don't have any words to say then again he says i am your i am your commandant i am your i am yours to command tell me what to do what you want i will do that all i will bring that all for you from that day aladdin and his mother had everything they could wish for them food clothes and fine home for the jinn of the lamp granted them everything jinn of the lamp granted them everything they had a good clothes good house and to eat good food gold silver in good house to live everything what they wanted was give, uh, granted by the jinn 
Aladdin grew into a tall, handsome young man, and his mother felt it was time he found himself a wife. Then Aladdin, after some years, Aladdin grew into a tall, handsome man. Tall, handsome man, and Aladdin's mother, what she thought? Now it is the time. Now it is the time. I should find a wife for him. One day, Aladdin happened to see the Sultan's daughter, Halima. She was so beautiful. He fell in love with her. One day, Aladdin, what happened? What what he what he sees? He sees the king's daughter, and he is her name was Halima. She was so beautiful, and he falls into love with her. I will go and ask the Sultan for the daughter's hand. Said his mother when he told about. told her about it then aladdin tells about her to his mother that i saw the sultan's daughter she is so beautiful she is so pretty i love her and i want to marry her then aladdin's mother says don't worry i will go and talk to the king and i will ask for her for his daughter's hand for you she arrived at the palace with a chest full of big diamond for the sultan then she arrives to the palace with a big diamond for the sultan if aladdin wants to marry halima said the sultan he must send me 40 silver each carrying a box of precious stones also he must build a splendid palace for her she is not used to live in a small house then uh, the uh, what the sultan says if aladdin want to marry my daughter he have to send how many boxes 40 slaves sorry not uh, silver it is 40 slaves and every slave has to carry precious stones box of precious stones and you must build a big house big splendid house means where everything has to be present not a small house because my daughter doesn't know to live in small house she ha- she needs a big palace which is more bigger than me then when aladdin heard their demand he told the jinn of the lamp about the sultan's demands the jinn clapped his hand when ala mother ke comes back to the house and she tells to the aladdin see sultan was demanding for these all things 40 slaves who are carrying the precious stones in their hand and he want a big palace for his daughter then aladdin calls the jinn and he tells all the sultan's demands to him what the jinn jinn does he claps his hand he claps his hand lo and behold lo and behold the 40 slaves the boxes of jewels and the palace all appeared within a minute then a 40 slaves the 40 slaves with diamond boxes in their hand and then a big palace was appeared just in front of them in 2 minutes or 5 minutes in some minutes the wedding lo took place with lots of celebration aladdin became famous everyone heard of his wealth and fortune the wizard also heard and then aladdin became so famous and their wedding happened very uh, nicely every with lots of celebration everyone enjoyed it everyone was talking about aladdin and his wealth so poor they were and now they are living in a such a big palace they have everything with them in a fraction of second aladdin can get whatever he wants then that was heard by the wizard that was heard by the wizard the person who had taken him to the forest now remaining we will continue in the next class